moment. Uh, I'm going to be walking through how to create a Google Doc timesheet. Uh, the difference between this one and other videos that you're going to see is that this actually shows you how to include uh, lunch, uh, lunch hours and lunch breaks. Uh, there's some great videos explaining the sort of whys and, and uh, in particular is about the formulas that you use. I'm not going to go into that just because other people explain it better than I do. Um, but there's some really great videos from Learn Google Spreadsheets. I've got a link to that in the description, uh, specifically to the video that refers to this. Um, and uh, I'll leave you to have a go and have a look. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to be keeping it as simple as possible uh, so you can copy and paste pretty much exactly what I do. Uh, and you'll be able to either use it for yourself or for your employees uh, with a little bit of background about you know how it works. I've also got a load of steps in the description so you can skip to the exact point that you want help with rather than listening to my lovely voice. Uh, so for the first bit, uh, and jumping right in for the first step, uh, we're actually just going to name this document. So I've got up here the timesheet, uh, which is pretty obvious. But then if it's for an employee, we can you know give them a name, Dave, Jill, whoever it might be. Uh, of course, if we're going to be doing it for an employer and we're a freelancer, we can of course give the name of the uh, company that we want to be working for. I'm just going to leave it as timesheet for now. Uh, the second step is we're going to put in a date. Now this is key because when you have a client, you generally work for you know work for multiple times. So uh, I've seen it before; people have messed up and given the wrong uh, timesheet, which is really unfortunate and embarrassing. So just to avoid that, just put a date in. Uh, I'm just going to put 29th of September 2020. COVID times. Um, and so once that's done, and that's pretty much it, we are then going to be uh, creating the table and filling it in. So this is the third step. So we're just going to be highlighting across here. So I'm going to be going from B to G. Uh, if you click on this, we can actually merge ourselves. So if you click here, we're going to be clicking on the center. We're making it bold to make it look nice. I'm going to say week one. Now along here, we're just going to be highlighting the same things directly underneath. We're going to be clicking on this. We're going to be clicking on, the, on to make it center. Again, making it bold. In this row, we're going to be putting in date, time in, time out, lunch, hours, and most importantly, pay. Uh, down this way, we're going to be putting in, of course, Monday to Friday, typical work week. And to make it super simple, we can just drag and drop it along that little box there, and that will make it uh, nice and easy for us. In here, again, I'm going to make it center and bold, and just put in total. So this is the building blocks of it. Uh, and now we've got this box put together, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to input the formula. So this is step four for everyone who skipped ahead, step four. So we've got here the timing. Uh, now this is on the, like I said, 2020. So we're working on a sort of 24 hour uh, spreadsheet rather than it sort of going from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., which I find a little bit confusing. So I just find it easier using 24 hours. However, if you do use a simple one, say 9 a.m., it will automatically put it into the date format so you can see that this denotes hours then minutes then seconds and here let's do 5 p.m working 9 till 5 uh, so we we can see there uh, it's put it in date format now lunch i've kept it simple and i usually have an hour's lunch so of course people generally do get paid uh, for lunch hours so if i want 30 minutes i'm going to put it as 0.5 if i want an hour i put it as one we we'll keep it super simple say one hour um, and then this is where we then have to put in the formulas. Uh, so again, still on step four, but this is 4B, I suppose. So I'll put that in the link. Uh, well, you've already skipped to it, I suppose, actually. So yeah, but anyway, we'll get back to the hours. Um, what we're going to do here, and again, you can go to that link in the description uh, for Learn Google spreadsheets and he will walk you through exactly why we're doing this but just to make it easy we're going to press equals we're going to say if we're going to open the bracket count we're going to select this one and then we are going to select these two we're going to close that bracket 
we're going to say equals two, and we're going to open the comma. We're going to do three open brackets. We're going to say d6 minus c6. Close the bracket, times it by 24. Close the bracket again, and then minus uh, e6. And this is basically minus in off the lunch hours. Uh, we're going to close that bracket. And we're going to close it again, and then hopefully it should come to seven hours, which it does, so that's perfect. Uh, and this is accounted for the time in, time out, uh, the hours difference, but then also accounting for the lunch. If we put zero there, then of course it's given us an extra hour. Now for the pay, this is, it couldn't be easier. We're just going to do an equals. We're going to select uh, F6. We're then going to times it by your hourly rate, whatever it is, dollars, pounds. Uh, we're going to press enter. And then there, really simple. Now what we can then do is make it nice is just click on the currency. Again, this is going to be de dependent on where you are. Um, to make sure that we're going to be using this formula across the whole place, we're dragging it down to Friday. Now it's coming up as false. I'm going to explain why in a minute. And we're dragging this down. This has come up as zero, which is again, really nice. So just to go over this bit a bit more, so the reason why this is coming up false, and the reason why we've got this bit in here as well as this, is that this is basically saying we're going to take take that uh, take this number away from this number. Uh, this is going to convert it into a decimal point, basically to say uh, the percentage of the day. So five o'clock is whatever percent of the day, and nine a.m. is whatever percent of the day completed. Uh, so say one one a.m. in the morning is only say five percent completed. Um, when we times it by 24, uh, once we take that, take this number away from that number, we times it by 24, and that will give us the amount of hours uh, that we've worked, uh, because it's working out as a, as a decimal point times by 24, which gives us the total hours worked. Um, minus by E7, this is basically saying if we've worked, if we had an hour of lunch, then we take off the hours uh, total worked. Uh, and that's a pretty simple formula to, to understand, I hope. If not, go to just that link, you'll explain it a bit better. This bit here, what this does is, if you accidentally put in the time out, uh, or time in, let's just say 10 a.m., uh, what it would do, if you didn't have this here, is it would do this number, which is zero, which would be at 12 in the morning, because it's nothing there, because uh, that's what it automatically set, set as, and then it will minus 10 a.m. Uh, and then what that will do is, is a total of the results is actually give you a minus figure here. Uh, and of course, that would end up looking like you owe the, uh, the person who's employing you money uh, for your work, which obviously doesn't work. So this just basically means you need to fill out both, both, uh, points in here to make it uh, so that it works otherwise it would just give you a false reading uh, and it will tell you that something's went wrong somewhere go and have a look uh, and that's where you can then investigate and amend what you need um, but again go to that guy he'll walk you through exactly why it's done that way and, and give you a, a really a clear cut view on, on how this happens. So I don't want to go into that just because I'm sure people have come to this point, not because they're experts, but because they want a quick fix. So hopefully that, that fixes it quickly. Um, what we can do here on the, on the uh, total, and this is step five, and this is just uh, you know, working out the grand total. Um, we want to press equal, open the bracket. Oh, sorry, equal, sum, open bracket. Drag it all the way down, press enter, and I'll give you the sum of everything there. Uh, so this, again, is just a really nice way of very quickly working things out. And if you have a couple of weeks, what you can do is just highlight everything, copy and paste it. Delete these out. Uh, and then just start from scratch and do the same again. Uh, what we can also do to make it a little bit prettier uh, and make it a little bit nicer to read is we can highlight all that. We then click on Format, 
we then click on alternating colors uh, and then we can click on this one here for example and what I've got here is uh, header is let's just use orange uh, color one is a custom format so I've got there uh, done and then there we go it's nice and laid out uh, and you can add where you need to I'll go here to 14 so 2 o'clock uh, 20 hours perfect so we've got a 30 minute break in there wonderful there we go so that's uh, all done um, so hopefully that covers everything that you've been looking for because I know there's a lot of comments saying that uh, let me know if I've missed anything or if you want an explanation on anything further. I'll make another video about it. Uh, for now, I feel like everyone will just want to just use this and get on with it. Um, any other requirements for the videos, let me know and uh, I'll make some more. But thanks for tuning in.